Hey guys, what's up? Um, <coughs> JWE here, Revelation News, and uh, so like things have gotten kind of crazy with uh, <coughs> these drama investigator people getting involved in mine and Shannon's lives. <coughs> so. Uh, I am obligated now. Well, I'm not obligated, but I, I feel like I have to. Jesus Christ. What a cat. Would you stop scratching watermelon? Thank you. I'll keep it on everything. All right. Thanks, Will. So here, here's the thing, guys. I kind of have, I'm like, I'm not obligated because I don't feel like I'm obligated. But now, once again, this shit is is interfering with mine and Shannon's lives. Hi, Crimson Angel. God bless you. And we are happy. We are a happy married couple with two awesome kids that we love. And we have a great life. When people in the Internet are not interfering with our lives, we're happy. So I'm going to describe to you exactly what happened on December 15th as best as I or sorry on May 15th because I believe that's the date it's May 15th or 16th something like that. Uh I'm going to I'm going to explain to you what happened that day. Okay? As best as I can remember it and with the correction of a person that wasn't having mental issues and wasn't having wet brain issues at the time because there's a correction from what I remember. Okay. Cause I admit that I, number one, I was drinking that night. So right off the bat, I met, yeah, I know crimson angel. Yeah. People are still bringing this shit up. Yeah, they are. Cause they're assholes. And, and they lit like they're harassing us on the Internet at this point. You know, uh, I'm a white supremacist. Shannon's a racist. We're all these crazy things to these people. And now they're making like documentary videos about us. Like it reminds me of like uh, what's that show like TMZ or uh, freaking THF, uh, THS, I think the true Hollywood story. On, on E! Entertainment Television. They've gotten that crazy about this stuff. And, and now it's stressing out and, and really bothering Shannon. And, and it's, it's I, I, you know, people don't fucking care the consequences. Yeah, they are a bunch of losers. They are, Crimson Angel. You're 100% right. They are. But it's it's really getting to her for obvious reasons, you know, and they don't care about the consequences of this shit that they put on the Internet. They don't care what happened at the ER. I'm going to, you know, I OK, the ER. I don't even know that that's something Shannon would have to tell you. I have no idea. Uh, as far as I know, they took her right to a hold up. As far as I know, I don't know if they took her to an ER to get checkup to get a checkup. They should have because she was having heart palpitations. She was very stressed out and it's because of me. Thanks for the thumbs up. So here's here's basically what happened. We had a great a great day. Like we 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 started off going to uh, this this bar. It's not a bar. It's a brewery. Here in Boulder, I can't remember the name of it. They're all selfish idiots who only want to hurt people. That's pretty much true. So we, we went to this brewery that had food. And I had a meal and they had a special on beers. Like it was like you could you could uh, try different beers. So it, it was like a tray of like four cups like that of beer. Right. So Shannon and I both got that. Uh, and that was the first mistake. I should not have fell off the wagon. That I fell off the wagon. That was me falling off the wagon. And it was a bad decision. Period. And that decision alone 
should have set up the rest of this so that Shannon wasn't in trouble at all. Okay. So are you two married or not? Yeah, we're married. We're married. It's it, we have a common law marriage right now. Uh, that's recognized by the state of Colorado. You said dating in the video. Yeah, that I said, because I was afraid at that point. I'm going to be honest with you. I was afraid because I didn't even know if she wanted to be with me anymore at this point. I didn't know if we were going to go our separate ways. So I was CYA. Yeah, I was covering my ass. You know, I, she, I officially, yeah, wasted on beer. So there's no marriage certificate. No, not officially yet. No, not yet, but there's going to be very soon. We just need to get our Colorado ideas wasted on beer. Yeah, it was strong shit, dude. It like the beer that from this place was it had to be like the the some of the stuff probably 20%. It was it was strong. So, I had one of them, she had one of them. Why are you lying and saying you're married when you're not? You're not a Christian. Whatever. I'm not paying attention to the chat. I love all the people that are supportive and nice in the chat, but I'm not even going to pay attention to it right now. Okay. So we go to this, we go to this restaurant. We have, uh, we have drinks. So we already drank at this restaurant. Uh, I felt it a little bit, not much because my tolerance is huge because I'm, I'm an alcoholic. Right. But it, my tolerance wasn't as high now because, because, uh, I hadn't been drinking for a year at all. Nothing. So my tolerance, too, was low. Right. So. So I went, I, I, I partake in this alcohol and it I felt it a little bit. Um, uh, OK, so after that, we end up going to see Detective Pikachu, the movie. And I fight I at that point, we got more drinks at the theater. We got a couple more drinks at the theater. So at that point. I I was like five sheets, man, because the stuff, whatever the stuff was at the theater, it was like frozen drink stuff. No offense, but tolerance never goes away with alcohol. Look it up. There's they're done. Rev. Maybe you were drugged. No, I wasn't drugged at all. No. Yeah, Detective Pikachu. It, it, like, I didn't even really want to see this movie, but it, it is what it is. So, apparently what happens in the theater, and I don't remember this. I legitimately did not remember this. That's why there's this conflict between Shannon and I's story in the theater and what I say to the cops in that video, because I don't remember it. I didn't remember hitting her at all in the theater. I smashed her hand, apparently. Like like that, like get off me. I want to I wanted to go and have my drinks and have a fucking I, I wanted to smoke, you know, outside instead of watching this movie. And of course, I mean, we're a couple. I should I'm <laughs> I should sit there and watch frickin Detective Pikachu. That's just the way it is. You, you're supposed to do that when you're married. So did you get a copy of the police report? Uh Let's just say that all of this stuff that like this is over with this whole thing, like the case that they had against Shannon is all she needs to do is go to uh, domestic abuse classes and she finishes them and the case is completely dismissed. I, I mean, do you want a copy? What of the police report? Oh, well, I mean, I'm probably going to get that from the lawyer anyway. Sounds like a couple dispute. Why are cops involved? Well, because they were called. Y'all kill each other. LOL. I, I can show you how to file a FOIA. Oh, OK. I get. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm sure. I, I'm sure that I'll be able to get all this information because there's lawyers involved. We have a criminal lawyer involved now. That's one. He's amazing. And we have a civil case, too. OK, we have a civil lawyer, too. Which tells you something. OK. The bottom line here. OK. After we got home from the theater. We, we were going to bed together. 
And what happened there was I said something hurtful. I know I did. I said something mean because that's why I can't drink. Because I become an arrogant, really just arrogant asshole to be around. Do you understand me? So I said something hurtful and she smacked me in the face because that's what I mean. That's a, just a normal reaction, right? Anybody would do that. If you say something hurtful to somebody, that that's that's what you open your the possibility up to is them smacking you. And she did. She smacked me. And I'm that's fine. I said something assholey. I should have been smacked. But it like did something to me in my brain. And I just like turned on into this fucking freak. And I just started saying to her, I want my fucking keys. I want my fucking keys. I want my fucking keys. Give me my keys. I want to go for I want to go and get a, a Baja Blast at. Uh, uh, what do you call oh, Taco Bell? That was right next door. Ravana's question. You can see the way Shannon acts on the Internet ends up causing her pain. Shouldn't you step in and tell her she needs a break? Well, that always happens. Do you understand that? What, honey? What, honey? What? Hang on, guys. My wife needs me for a second, okay? Oh, my God. Oh. Yes, honey. You're not going to cut yourself. You're not gonna... Yeah, well, you're not going up. Okay? These assholes can't bother you anymore. I think you should leave me here. For real, because this is getting too crazy. Having the police video and all this shit. This is crazy. Shit. I think you should probably get off. You know, if you want to do Instagram. What? Okay, you have to stop right now. Okay? Because you're fucking going into breakdown mode because of this. Okay? I want you to just stop. All of this stuff is over with. Yes, it is. Well, you have to No, it's because of these cunts that rebroadcast the stuff that you fucking went on their fucking site and started seeing this stuff. You wouldn't have even known that these videos were out there if it wasn't for you know what I mean? YouTube's too hot for you. I say you should stick to Twitter and Instagram and do your stuff there. And go on to make a YouTube account. Well, I don't know what you consider wrong, but whatever. I didn't want you arrested. Usually they ask the victim, do you want to press charges? They wouldn't ask me that. They just filed them because it's domestic abuse. Mm -hmm. Well, that's you do that yourself, honey. You, you can get that. You but die. I want to die. No, you don't. You do not want to die. You're going to have a good life. <laughs> Would you stop this? You're going to have a good life now. Away from police. Away from assholes that can hurt you. Okay? So do you want me to finish this video that you told me to do or not? Do you want me to do that or not, Shannon? You told me to do this. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that, but she, when your wife needs you, she needs you, you know. Yeah, that that's whatever it is on the wall. Yeah, it is. That that's fucking. That's just Holly. That's uh, not what do you call? Uh, <laughs> uh, that's from Halloween. That that's a prop from Halloween. That that is. 
Yeah, she told me to make it. Yeah, maybe this should have been handled privately. No, I'm doing this because I want I want it understood. Thanks for the thumbs up. I want it understood that the police messed up, but they didn't really mess up because they needed to fu- they needed to arrest somebody. This is old. This is an old case. Do you understand? This is from May. This is old. This is in court. The condition of of her being okay is that she has to do domestic abuse courses and then boom, she's free. It's like nothing ever happened after she does that. Okay, so this stuff that these people are bringing up in drama videos is old. There's nothing wrong anymore. She just has to do domestic abuse courses and boom, that's it. It's like it's dismissed. Yes. Okay, look, look, guys. I she told me to do a video and I'm doing it, but I she needs me now. So I'll say good night for now and I might come back later. All right, God bless. Holy shit.